a string is essentially text and so you can have a print function with say hello world and what you have in this function is a string so we call this a string and you can define a string as a variable so let's say s is your variable and then you have some string you can output that using the print um, function and so if you run it you'll see the same string now strings can be combined and so you could have the plus operator and this will in the case of strings it will concatenate these variables so we have three strings here the string the string and this string so if you run it you'll see it twice now this can also be done in a new variable so let's say you have um, two variables then you could create another variable that's x plus y and that would output the same combination now strings can go over multiple lines and so you could have a message and this could go over multiple lines but how would you do that because if we press enter this doesn't work right so you would use the new line operator which is backslash n and this will add a new line to the string if you run it you'll see that it outputs two lines so using this lesson you can make multiple lines if you run it you'll see several lines even though we define a string on one line so the backslash n adds new lines now what if you just want to print the slash right because if you use slash n um, then it creates a new line so the slash is a special character and so if you were to run this it wouldn't work so let me just show you it doesn't work because it's expecting an n so if you want to print the slash character you need to double those so write the slash twice and then you can output the slash character now you can also uh, get a specific character so using an index so this would be the first character E zero would be the first character and one would be the second character and so on so two will be your third character and you'll notice that we start counting from zero so in Python the lists or arrays or string indexes start from zero and it's something to keep in mind because if you use one it will always start at the first character now if you want to get the last character you can do minus one which starts counting from the back and so this will show the last character which is an E so using minus it starts counting backwards so minus one minus two minus three if you were to run it you'll see the E you can do minus two minus three and so on you can also get the length of a string using the length function so just surrounded by length and you'll have the length of a string now you can store it in a variable if you want and let's say you want to say um, length of the message is equal to message length but now the print function only takes string input text input and message length is actually a number so in this case we'll have to convert the message link to a string so surrounded by str so we'll convert it to text run it and you'll see we have it on one line so that's strings in python